two, three, funk it. So good morning guys. Look at my candle. Much better. Okay, so today we are doing something a bit more different from what you're used to. So for today we are going to do a small washroom revamp. Um for most of us who live alone, we usually spend so much time in the toilet, maybe just scrolling through our phone or doing other businesses so mine has always felt a bit cozy but i thought i could make it much cozier by doing some little re renovations of course that are not that expensive so i decided to get a shelf where i'd put some of the things but before that i want to show you how my bathroom looked before we decide to change it up so let's get into it so we'll be focusing mostly on top of the water closet where we have this diy the holder i made this using a box and some size hole but i feel like i've outgrown that and uh, that place should just remain empty it shouldn't be that full that is everything i use there's my shampoo there's my toilet paper cleaning supplies for the toilet and for laundry these are these are small flower vases that i have I can put that on top of there so I want the fundi to come and install a tiny shelf over there where all these things can fit yes so that is the activity that you're going to be doing the next day so this is our shelf it comes in white and it is just the right size so let's just install it quickly then we see how it looks like. So what I want to do right now is transfer everything that is there to that place. Yeah, so let's just quickly do that. So now that everything is from there to up there, I want to just put a tiny flower vase that I have there and one tissue to show you how it looks from a closer range. So this is how it looks like from down here. I think this is much better it's much simpler and it just makes the whole place look nice then now we have up here so we have my toilet cleaner some air fresheners this is my conditioner my shampoo and shower gel which i'll buy and put here I plan on adding other things here, maybe add more tissues so that this place can only be carrying tissues. So the whole activity cost me 650 shillings for the shelf and for the installation which is good for a starter. We will do more renovations to this bathroom as long as I am staying here and I can't wait for you guys to see.
Ka. I almost said kahawa. What is it called? Okay, when I remember, I'll tell you. This is green pepper or hoho. And then we have some tomatoes. Yeah, we also have a few ingredients here. We have black pepper. I almost never cook without black pepper. And then we have uh, we have one beef cube, of course. Yeah, so this is my setup. I'm just going to wash everything up. I'll also while uh, I, I'll also put the beef to boil while I prep the ingredients. So I had forgotten to get some onion. So nimesha kimbia. There is a lady outside where I live. Um, so for the beef, I had boiled some water. Natakatu nieke. Iendele boil. So let me just quickly do that. So where I get the meat, I usually get it very soft. So it won't take so much time boiling this. So I can I can just boil it here on this tiny pan. I had already washed the meat, so that's okay. And some salt. that boils I'm just going to cut up everything then after I chop everything and dice everything I usually like blending my ingredients together to form a paste which I'll, I'll use to finally cook my, my my beef stew yes there is something about just having your food with no lumps that feels good to me so that is why I do it I don't know how you guys prefer it but for me that is what works for me so let me just quickly chop everything up together and then I sh I blend them then we cook the beef is boiling on the other side Tales from the Panhandle. It's not West Texas. I'm from East Texas, the Gulf region, home to many Vietnamese shrimpers. Do the shrimpers feature in your story? No. So anyway, this is ready. I was eight. Just going to quickly blend that to form a very not so fine paste but with no lumps of course. 